Yo, what's up, Internet? My name is Anthony, and the Raiders are on a bye. After watching all of the games this season, I came up with a little checklist of things that they can do to really increase their chances of winning the game. Keep in mind, these are realistic changes. It's not like scoring 50 points or shutting out the opponent. Anyway, here are the five things. Let's go. And number one, run Marshawn Lynch 20 times. We brought in Marshawn Lynch to punish defenders. I personally don't think he's lost much, but our offense must now revolve around him. I've said it countless times. Defenses soften up as the game wears on, and we have one of the best grinders in the NFL. The most carries Lynch has had so far is 18 in week one. That must change now. The game obviously dictates a lot, but I say we aim for 20 carries per game. That will really grind out the clock and keep the defense fresh and off the field. And number two, throw two deep balls to Amari Cooper per half. Amari Cooper is an amazing athlete and an amazing jump ball receiver. The Raiders and Derek Carr must take advantage of that. Too often this year, they've gone short allowing the defense to hug the line of scrimmage. Carr must take advantage of this and take the top off when he can and Cooper is one of the best at doing it. If nothing else, it backs the defense up and makes them aware. Too many times this season, the defense didn't fear getting beat over the top and that must change. At number 3, play tight on 3rd and short. Every time it seems to be 3rd and short, there's no doubt that they will convert. The reasoning is obvious. The corners are 10 plus yards off the ball and the offense only needs 3 yards. A quick slant or out and the corners can do nothing to stop it. That is just schematically a dumb play. The game that stood out to me was against the Ravens. They converted over and over and the Raiders couldn't get off the field. They stayed consistent and that must change. The defense isn't very good and must get off the field when they can. At number 4, cover to the tight end. I'm not talking about shutting them down. I'm talking about just having someone cover them. The return of Obi Malafumu could very well be the solution to this. He's big and fast. The problem is, the Raiders seem to plan on leaving the tight ends alone. Tight ends are wide open in the middle of the field with nobody within 10 yards. That has been a major weakness again and again in this scheme. This isn't even the players playing bad. This is just fundamentals. And number 5, use the hurry up more. Have you ever watched the Raiders and noticed just how dead they are offensively? There is no energy and the pace of play is bad. Then, right before the half or so, they go hurry up and suddenly it seems the offense comes to life. Obviously, I'm not saying do this every time, but they should go to it when the offense is out of rhythm. This is a proven thing to work and there is just choose not to go to it. They have to do something during the game to get things going and this is one of the easier things to change. Just like with the game against the Chiefs, quicken the pace, put Derek Carr in charge and good things will happen. 